Jacoby and Jay Bird. Now, this is round number two action that we're tuning into. This is Clef and Joe Rice. And this is going to be uh, Clef in the Bucks unis, Joe Rice in the Falcons uniforms. Yeah, Joe Rice, a big Mudhead guy, has won a lot of Mudhead events throughout the years. He made the Madden 17 Classic, was re uh, and an amazing click-on ability on defense, known for that. So let's see what he can do here with Joe, uh, Joe Rice advancing and already jumping into our next game here. Unfortunate break right there for Clef. Unable to get two feet in. Pass intended for Terrell Owens. That one-handed animation. He did hold on to it, but wasn't able to get the, the two feet in. So it'll be second down and 10 from the 29. Again, with Terrell Owens out there, Shannon Sharp, Julio Jones, uh, the GOAT, Jerry Rice, and Fournette in the backfield, helmed by one Michael Vick, highly touted as the best Madden player of all time. Not playing on the sticks, but on the field, the Madden GOAT, right? You've got your real-life GOAT, you've got your historic GOAT, and you've got your Madden GOAT, which is obviously Michael Vick, probably the most selected quarterback since 2004 in Madden. Of course, you have to be able to deal with pressure, and having the wheels that Vic has gives you that advantage. A lot of players always ask, why don't we see Tom Brady, Dan Marino, you know, the pocket QBs? It's never really been the case. Last time we saw a pocket quarterback dominate in Madden was Madden 08 with wow. Tom Brady. What? A talk about patience in the pocket right there. The urge to scramble, but then stopping on a dime and putting a dot to the end zone right there. Amazing. Great recognition right there of the late route breaking over the middle you saw right there that's that Vic we talked about good patient in the pocket stepped up rolled out a little bit to the left was able to change that throwing lane and find the receiver open for the touchdown yeah going back to that little variety and quarterback conversation we were having when you've got a guy like Vic that can do everything that say a Dan Marino can do right with the quick release with the deep pass with the deep throw accuracy with the short throw accuracy in the middle these guys are we're talking end game right now for Matt and ultimate team so some of these ratings out here, I'm not sure what level Vic he has out there, but why would you why would you limit yourself with a guy that cannot scramble, that cannot move in the pocket, when the guy Mike Vic can do basically all of it? Exactly. That's what it comes down to. There are very few players out there that live with a pocket quarterback. Uh, hardly anybody. You look at you look at these tournament rosters that we have. You either see Lamar Jackson or you see Michael Vick. The guys that are uncomfortable with a left-handed quarterback like Vic, they go with Jackson, and then the rest use Vic. It's just that simple when it comes to competitive Madden. Yo, thanks for that sub. Best of boy, the beast. He says, uh, let's be a positive force for good. Let's go, gents. That's what we like to see. Guys, if you got the positive force for good, let's throw them up in the chat right now. That is what we're all about here in the Mudhead chat and these Mudhead tournaments. And just good to be out here with the tournament or with you guys tonight, with the community, with the chat. Uh, honored to be here at Mudhead in lovely Huntsville, Alabama. People laughed last night when they said lovely. How about the weather today out here? I mean, we did a little park uh, periscope earlier today around the city. Absolutely gorgeous. Clear skies. Uh, clouds coming over the mountains. I tell you, I love coming here every single time I'm here. $1,000 being handed out tonight in our final matchup. However, these round two matchups are extremely important because if you make it to the round three, the final eight of the bracket, that will ensure that you get an invitation to the next Friday Night Football, which will be, again, next Friday. And, uh, you know, that's that's huge. There's a lot of pressure in these round two matchups, even though the thousand dollars won't be given away until later tonight. Yeah, we're still in a sweaty matchup here. Second quarter coming to an end. Wow. Just will not go down. Not sure who that was. Uh, Shannon Sharp right there. Big bruiser rumbling and stumbling, spinning, juking and jiving, not coming down right there and gets a few extra yards for our guy. Uh, Joe Rice. We've all been there before on defense. You just start spamming that strip ball button. You get pot committed as you watch him break the third, the fourth, the fifth strip. But you still keep doing it. And uh, even guys like Clef, they do it too. So we, we're not alone out there in the chat. <laughs> Joe Rice on the drive right now, looking to threaten here before the half. He wants to knot this thing up before we go into the locker room. Motion here by the flanker. 
Looking for the post over the middle. Oh, he missed the read. He's going to go to the corner, though. And that is a dot, but not enough room one, for the I receiver. Th I think he got one foot down there. I think the other one was not able to stay in bounds. Uh, but he, he couldn't do a possession catch right there. He had two defenders short of him. So he had to get it over those two guys uh, and paid the price by just stepping out of bounds there. But could have had that seven points he craves before we go into the locker. How about this guy, TK? Up to 22 gifted subs. Is that what's happening right now? My God, man. TK, you're you're an absolute legend tonight. Thanks again. We can't shout you out enough for being a great positive force for good in the community out there. Third and eight, my friend here. We've got uh we've got Joe Rice just kind of uh you know feeling things out. He's taking his time. He's in control right now. No reason to hurry, no reason to, to fret. Nice little pass there on the outside. Was that about a halfback wheel, I believe? Yeah, went to the halfback wheel, tried to play a high-low game with the solo receiver on that side. I like this decision right here from Joe Rice. Take your points. You're in a game for the long haul against Clef. You don't take your points now, that could definitely come back to bite you later. Let's just keep the game close and see what happens in the fourth quarter. I think that's how both these players are going to play this one out. Yeah, we could see a very aggressive clutch here, or uh, Clef here as well, though, before we go into the half saying, hey, uh, you wanted to put points on the board? I'm going to do it as well before we go into the locker room. Nice little return there, by the way, all the way up to the 33-yard line. That's going to help his case, trying to put some points on the board. Uh, I tell you, this is a nice little formation. He's been running all game. Sharp, Jones, and Rice out there on the end. He's going to motion the two, uh, Sharp and Rice, over to the left, Four, uh, Fournette over to the right in the backfield. And uh, he's got a first down and 10. Three route combo. Max Protect here is going to give Vic all day, and that's going to be Terrell Owens underneath. <sighs> Picks up a gain of 14. Now, Clef is looking to become our second competitor to win back-to-back -back Friday Night Footballs, joining D. Croft, who won those a few weeks back. Uh, we only have three players in our uh, two-winner club, I believe. We've got Strafen and D. Croft, and now all of a sudden I'm, I'm all of a sudden forgetting. I, I'm normally a historian, but Clef looking to become a member of that two belt club or our two championship club. We don't actually have a physical belt. It'd be right. nice to have though. One for each shoulder. If it was there, you know, I mean, if it was a thing, but, uh, uh Terrell Owens right now, we have Joe, uh, we have, let me see here. Clef just feeding Terrell Owens right now. How do you bring down a big body receiver like Terrell Owens? Go low, low man wins at a nice little stick on uh, T.O. there the last time. And we have now first and 10 again for Clef. Scrambling left for with Vic and just going to throw it out of bounds. Everybody covered downfield. As of five minutes ago, Ant Cap in the back says, Kiv 24, Drag 20. They're recreating that disconnect. The issue there with the holdup is that they need to recre recreate the exact situation, which involves potential icing of the kicker. So they're going to have to play through to the fourth quarter to get that one back on track. We'll keep you updated as we receive them from our support staff. Much appreciated, Ant Cap, uh, who's been a phenomenal stat guy for us. All those spreadsheets he does, uh, really helping uh, turn this into something special here at Mutthead TV. Sending in the info hot, sending in the links hot, sending in the info hot. Thank you, Ant Cap, just absolutely bringing, um, bringing the broadcast to a new level. So thank you very much, making our lives much easier out here on camera. That field goal will be up and through. So Clef will take a touchdown lead. 12 seconds to go in the first half. We'll see who gets the ball here in the second as we join this one a little bit late. Yeah, Clef says to Joe Rice, well, you know, you want to kick a field goal before halftime? Well, I want to come down and kick a field goal before halftime as well. Uh, kicks it out of the back of the end zone, so we're going to move up here to the 25-yard line. And Joe Rice, no timeouts. Uh, probably going to check up a few here to see if he can get lucky before we head into the half. Bunch formation here for Joe Rice. A lot of players do not like to be set up in between the hash marks. That's what kicking the ball at the back of the end zone does to some of these guys. They're so surgical with the way they run their offense. They like to run it on the short hash or the wide hash. If they're between the hashes on a play, they typically like to run the ball. You saw right there, though, nice little motion to the outside. Finds the receiver down the sideline. He gets out of bounds near midfield. He's, he's going to have a chance right here. Probably not a great one, but he'll throw it to the end zone see what he can do. Yeah, that Julio Jones just making his presence felt on many teams this evening. Uh, looks like he tried to run the same route there. He's bringing back cross with Julio. Whew, 
plenty of time back there, and I thought he was going to get a legal forward pass right there, but uh, just happens to squeeze it out. He had a couple chances right there. I'll tell you what, that was uh, not everybody covered downfield, just not able to pull it off here. We've gone into the halftime locker room. Now we have brought the boys back out. They've had their pep talks. They've had their Gatorade. That's a quick back talk. The, I mean, you know, some coaches are better than others, I guess, you know. Just tell them to go win. Work smarter, not harder, you know, so. And it will be Clef with the ball and the seven-point lead. So that field goal before half was really important because now he's got a chance to make this a two-score lead. Yeah, anytime that you can put points on the board immediately before you get in the halftime and then you get the ball when you come back, that is a huge advantage for any offense. We've got lots of Vic action still coming here. And and what big. an interception off the tip. Oh, and then Whoa. he fumbles it. Did his I teammate caused a fumble? I haven't seen one of those all wow. year long. Let's take a look at that again here. Yes, yeah, so he goes up and gets the tip, and then he has teammate come over and basically strip the ball out of his hands. And, and then get his it teammate himself. recovered it. I think the teammate just wanted the football. I think he's like, no, I want that. Give me that. that my interception. <laughs> so now Joe Rice with the big turnover. He's got a chance to tie this ball game. This is looking like it's going to be a great matchup, and this is only round number two of a absolutely loaded field tonight. I can't. I, I have no idea what those final couple games are going to look like. We're already in the high-level Madden play right here, back and forth from Joe Rice and Clef right here. Turnovers, great passes, great That runs. one's up Another for grabs. Tip. Oh, my Lord couple Buccaneers underneath that one, but none of them able to bring it down. Huge break for Joe Rice. Now he's got third down and five bunched so to the wide side. how much Pirates are charged for ear piercings? Please tell me. Uh, a Buccaneer. <laughs> you, I mean, it's cheap for them. They get a discount. You're right? a father. I'll allow it. Thank you. Dad jokes all night long here. My favorite, ob obviously, is do you know what a Pirate's favorite letter is? R. No, the C. Oh, come on. <laughs> he fell for it, ladies and gentlemen. They all say R. <laughs> Couldn't help it. Got distracted uh, you with got the Buccaneers you got uniforms me. here. Okay. <laughs> wow. So what if <laughs> I would have said C? Uh, then I would have gone R. No, yeah, so I'm that's lose-lose then. No, I'm totally joking. It's a C. <laughs> Great little run right up the middle there by Joe Rice. Derrick Henry doing his thing and what he does the best right there, and that's just trucking defenders for the extra yards. Derrick Henry in the weight room and training all offseason. The man is looking like an absolute animal. All my Titans fans out there are pretty psyched uh, to have him back this season. That Derrick Henry, uh, former Alabama Crimson Tide, we're down here in Huntsville Interesting kind of uh, mesh of fandom down here in Huntsville. You got a lot of Crimson Tide fans, but you got a lot of Auburn fans. And then we're pretty close to the border where Tennessee is. So you do get a trickling in of uh, those volunteer fans, some some Bulldog fans. College football is king down here. But right here, we got the Madden football, and it's Joe Rice trying to punch us in and tie the ball game. King tonight, How? Uh, what do we see here out of the eye form? Do we see a toss? Do we see the QB snake? What are you thinking, Zan? I think you got to go right here with the toss call. It looks like that defender on the edge won't be able to set that edge. We'll see what Joe Rice wants to do right here. It is second down goal. It's going to be the fullback dive, and that's Henry going nowhere. And we got a lot of guys up there in goal line defense. Boxes filled. The gaps are filled. Fullback dive for a loss. So now you got third down and goal, and uh, we're going to see Joe Rice sticking with the goal line offense here so a lot of times when it's down to the one you see them go to that goal line and it's just the fullback dive QB sneak toss combo but we're going to see him stick with this the issue with this is you don't pay a lot of cap for your tight ends that Delaney Walker is a 10 cap minimum player and that kind of makes it tough to get outside and you see he has to rely on that run up the middle yeah, I like that Delaney Walker, though, because he is a serious force for blocking on the on the outside there. I'm a little surprised he's not utilizing that outside run because of his blocking ability. But like you said, maybe not able to seal that edge out there. Let's see if he tries to punch it up the middle again or if he switches it up and tries to hit that. Uh, yeah, I mean, with the salary cap, pylon. the short rosters, you, you, a lot of times they fill them in with power up 10 cap minimum cap players. And great run defense by Clef forces the goal line stand. RG, are you out here holding the door? Yes, is hold Clef. the door. Yeah, absolute uh, just dominating defensive stand on the goal line there by our guy, Clef. Three runs up the middle, three stops up the middle, and Clef back in control. He's getting himself a little space out there, a little space to work with, maybe a little scrambling room for Vic. Uh, and we'll see if he can take it back down the field here. We're closing out the third quarter, uh, actually coming about halfway through the third quarter here. And what is a, a sweaty? We got a sub for Clef. So congratulations hey. to Clef on that uh, that $5 sub Welcome right there. Welcome to the church. 
pay homage. Shotgun snap here to Vic. Three-man rush oh, is going to scramble. Oh, and then a bad break. He had the wide open drag, but Vic misses the throw. Yeah, I think he just got Vic just got tripped up there on the one yard line. It was just enough to make that inaccurate throw right there. It looked like he had some yards to go after that catch as well. But we're back on the four yard line, third and eight. We're uh, ticking down here. A minute and fifty eight seconds left in the third quarter of our Joe Rice versus Clef game. Uh, Vic dropping back into the end zone and decides to scramble out to what is is the eight-yard line, picking himself a little bit of breathing room for maybe what is the punt unit coming out here, Zan? Not in salary cap. Clef going to leave the offense on the I, field. I, 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 I thought if I sensed one, I thought it was going to be this one, but it's not. No. You ask the players, uh, You ask the players. why do you punt? Uh, salary cap, you don't spend on the punter, so you're only going to kick the ball 20 yards. So yeah, okay, you got to go for it, it in this yep. spot. Yep. Uh, and a lot of times uh, players think, you know, this is, this is ridiculous. You know, teams would punt the ball in this situation, but you know, uh, as RG said on cast before, they've talked to pro coaches and they said, if you were playing a 20 minute game as we have a oh. wheel route, that's going to be Leonard Fournette across midfield down to the 33 huge gain for Clef. Those NFL coaches, they always say, you know, if I were playing a 20 minute game, I'd be so much more aggressive. Yeah, absolutely. It's the it's the thing with the working working the clock, working those tight ends. We're not we're in a set game of Madden here with only so much time to work with in quarter in the quarters here. So, like you said, what a pitch and catch to Fournette out there on the halfback wheel. Fournette doesn't have the speed to carry that all the way home, but he certainly has the hands to bring that one down and get our guy Clef all the way to the 33-yard line, scrambling around out there with Vic right now and just throws it away under pressure and with everything down the field all hemmed up. A little makeshift bench concept right there from Clef using a route specialist. He uses that route specialist crosser and then flips the formation so the route flips to the opposite side. Ran a little motioned uh, crosser to the outside and then a whip route underneath. For those wanting to know what the bench concept is, that is when you have two outbreaking routes at varying levels on the field, both going to the sideline, hence the name bench. It'll be Vic underneath to Terrell Owens, and he's going to pick up a first down. Clef's starting to get a little momentum right now. Joe Rice has got to answer the bell. Yeah, he's uh, in total total control right now. He's being very patient. Like we said, he's protecting the rock. It's something very important to do in this close of a game. We're coming on to the end of the third quarter here. Coming about to put your fours up in the chat. Very Let's see soon, him. guys. Very soon. you got to see him here. 37 seconds that we'll have the fours in the chat. If you guys are a sub to anybody, if you don't have an emote for a four, just type the number four. Yeah, that works. Totally works. But... We would sure love your sub here at Mudhead TV. Gets you that pretty sweet four emote there, along with some other uh, dice, with some other stick skills, with uh, the classic head of boogs, I just think, bugs. which is just worth the price of admission. Five for bucks your for submission. just a boogs emote? I mean, I'll, you don't even get that on his stream. I literally would just pay five bucks just for the boogs emote. I like my four, though, the little Reggie White with the tape on his fingers. No, that's, that looks pretty good. One. Classic. I was a tape on my finger guy. By the way, I didn't wear gloves back in the day. Uh, playing, playing fullback and middle linebacker, it was a, each individual finger was taped up, old school style. Yeah, the uh, I was I was definitely a glove guy. Yeah, just too cold. You got to have something. How about the hand warmers? Did you put the little packets oh. of hand warmers in? Oh, here? in, like, in the, any, everywhere I could fit a hand warmer in my uniform, whether it was under my shoulder. I, we're talking Northeast Ohio, right. In the winter here, bro. So any any place I could, <laughs> we we had the hand warmers. They were they were necessary to Northeast Ohio football. I mean, everybody knows that feeling. The worst feeling in the world, if you've ever played football, and everybody's had it happen, is where you're blocking somebody. And then somebody else behind you gets their helmet smashed into the pads of the guy you're blocking. It's your finger in between. Oh, yeah. The worst feeling oh, in the world. No, it's just solid, solid football stuff right there. And, of course, you know, talking about that temperature, everything feels like concrete when it's that cold. Yes. So Absolutely. whether it's the ball, whether it's another body, whether it's uh, uh, the fans on the sideline, it all feels like concrete when you hit it up there. Third down and 13 here for Clef. Does have a field goal in his pocket if he takes care of the football here. It'll be Vic against a three-man rush. Looked like he was going to be corralled. He's going to scramble backwards, extending the play. And now he's going to try to make a move. This little pump fake, this little hesitation thing is screwing me up. I'm, I swear, I would totally biff on that one myself. Hey, our guy, I, 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 TK, I, 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 I,
you get a sub. You get a sub. TK with 25 gifted subs, the most recent to Steve T1. Welcome to the squad, Steve. Much appreciated, guys. As always, if you have Amazon Prime, that means you have Twitch Prime. Link your account. Give your sub to somebody. doesn't have to be us. Make sure you're taking advantage of that if you're a Twitch or Amazon Prime subscriber. Yeah, absolutely. That's just a couple clicks. You might not even be in taking advantage of up there. You know, maybe you didn't even know uh, about. But we've got our guy TK out there just doing his best Oprah impression, throwing subs all over the place tonight. Thanks a lot, man. Definitely appreciate that. Uh, we have one Joe Rice coming out of the back of the end zone. I'm not sure where that juke move came from. Uh, I think if he would have just kind of kept his route there, he could have maybe... Come away with six on that one. I'm telling you, that was pretty close, man. I agree. I think a lot of players get into the habit of trying to make a spin move or some kind of ball carrier move every single time they get into that range of, you know, three or four yards away. A lot of times the best at plan of action is just stay the course. Just keep running straight because – on defense, a lot of players start to expect that you're going to spin every yeah, time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, talking about subscriptions, after we just told people about that Twitch sub, we got uh, Mercury Jones and Dith, Dith also subbing with their Twitch Prime subscription. So thank you for that one as well. Man, I'm ready for this Kentucky Fried Chicken to get here. Rockets, where are you? Did it happen? Do we have problems? Do we have technical difficulties? Are they, are they actually like... Killing the chickens right now? Defeathering the chickens? I don't What's happening? Think about that. <laughs> <laughs> I just well, wanted to be it's fresh. Here. It's fresh. It's well, you know, hey, so. that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't smell any that. chicken yet. I think with the amount of Kentucky Fried Chicken that we ordered, we would be able to. We would be able to. Three sell minutes. It. Rocket said three minutes. It will be here at eight twenty. Right. We have a turnover here. The user lurk, Sean Taylor, and that is I'm trying to look at the number on that to tell you which one. If that's the number 36, that's the budget, Sean Taylor. Let's see if we can get a uh, license plate on that truck. All right, so I'm doing it. I'm in here, and I'm throwing a sub to TK right now. I am personally sub to TK. I am watching the man logged in. He's subbing to TK Status right now. Active. Boom. TK. I, gotta, I got to gotta get these TK emotes down here. Are they active? Do I got them? Where are they at? Clef back to pass. Vic scrambling, trying to extend the play. He's going to go down the sideline. He finds Jerry Rice. Oh, and a huge hit there by, is that Mel Blunt playing safety? That cover two defense. He had the, the throw down the sideline, that little cover two window between the safety and the deep half, and then that corner on the sideline. But that's part of the cover two. Give up the play underneath and then rally the football and lay the wood. Fournette up the middle. Fournette has, was a pretty stout halfback in Ultimate Team for the God Squad half halfbacks even a couple months ago. He's kind of fell on off, fallen off, but is still a really great salary cap player. Hard hitter, uh, really great ball carrier. It doesn't fumble too, too much. Now that I've said that, I've probably cursed our guy Clef. <laughs> uh, but has the hands to catch the ball, as we saw tonight as well. Patriot RB wants to know if I've seen the Wizard of Oz. Of course I have. That's not on the same level as Top Gun. Oh, yeah, it is. The Wizard of Oz is uh, on the same level as Top Gun? Uh, yeah. We're, 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 duh. I mean, it, are you kidding me? I, it's, it's Highway to the Danger Zone or the Yellow Brick Road. Which do you want to go down? The Yellow Brick Road? <laughs> you don't want to go, go down, down the a Highway to the Danger Zone. The, I live dangerously. My middle name is Danger. Okay? I like to live on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> you can have it. You take Kenny Loggins, and I'll uh, I'll just be uh, going along with Toto down the Yellow Brick Road. Okay, all right. You you get your big stuffed lion and your you know your brainless Tin Man out there, and I'll just ride with my guys Goose Maverick, uh, and and you know that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> you know, I, I I've heard that Goose dies in Top Gun <gasps> because I've seen Meet the Parents. How do you even? Oh, that's true. If you've seen Meet the Parents, then they had that huge Top Gun spoiler in there. I don't think there is a such a thing as a Top Gun spoiler now, though. I don't think that's a thing, right? Like you can't spoil Top Gun. It's <laughs> How been do out you for spoil twenty five years? Right. I think uh, it's past the statute of limitations for spoilers. <laughs> Oh, my. All right, so we've got jumping back into the action. Oh, there is that fumble. It didn't wasn't on the side that we called it out on. Oh, Ed, Ed Reed, Reed taking it in for six points. Mr. Ed Reed, Hall of Famer Ed Reed, announced to the Hall of Fame this season, comes up with the ball, and Clef takes it to the house. Hey, Paw Paw, thanks for that sub. Much appreciated. That's from TK, but we did have a sub coming in. I want to make sure that I enunciate here. Son of a Mitch, thank uh, you for the sub. Enunciation is important. <laughs> wow, what a score. That really takes things to a whole new level for our guy here, Clef. We've got Joe Rice. Uh, you know, it's going to be really – he's got all three timeouts. It's just under the two-minute warning, a minute 56 left. But he has got some serious work to do if he's going to be able to catch up and overtake Clef. 
back to pass. It is Joe Rice throwing that wheel route to Derrick Henry. Down by 17, it's it's tough. You, you know, your opponent is going to give you the underneath, and it's tough to say, you know, don't take the underneath. That's what's given to you. you got to get vertical at some point, though. you got to score and score quickly. I mean, the odds are very much so against Joe Rice at this point anyways, but – if you're going to score, you're going to have to do it quickly, and you're going to have to preserve timeouts, and you know the checkdowns are just not going to really do you any favors at this point. I mean, this is just old old hat for Clef right now, right? He's won a couple Friday night footballs before, hasn't he? Uh, Clef, yep, he's he's uh, got his uh, his victories, and last week he's our defending champion, so I mean, oh, he's, he's playing some of the best ball in the community right now. Nice. So we got Joe Rice or any of these guys trying to pick off Clef and not let him get all the way through the. Uh, that was the name again. I was forgetting earlier because I said I was looking for. Uh, I was saying Clef was looking for back to back to yep. join Decroft as the only other player there with back to back. But there's yep. three players in the two club, the two wins club, and Clef was already one of them. I was just forgetting because I was already talking about it. <sighs> nice little catch there coming across, uh, and it didn't look like that was going to happen. But receiver laid out was able to bring it down, even with the hit, even with the traffic right there. Uh, and Joe Rice still pushing the ball. There is no quit in him. He is still going. He's back to the air again, trying to move this ball down the field, down to the flat, diving for the uh, sidelines to try and get out of bounds. It's some, not successful. Somehow though. they spotted that in bounds, uh, probably because he willingly gave himself up in yeah. bounds. Uh, but it looked like he did get the ball to the sideline right there. Uh, it did. It could have been a case of the knees down uh, in bounds with the ball out of bounds. Yeah, I'm not sure how that how that worked there. But we have third and four, 31 yard line. Uh, again, we're just trying to Joe Rice just trying to get a moral uh, TD victory here to get out of here, uh, 17 to 27. And a nice little throw just goes through the hands of his receiver there. That is, uh, you hate to see that. It's a tough break there for Joe Rice in a game of tough breaks as he's down by 17 with just under a minute to go. couple round two finals for you. Obi-Wan Jacoby, 28, Jaybird 7. And then TNC Fancy is going to move on to our third round against T-Ski with a score of 19-7. to seven. So those two have cemented their spot in Friday Night Football number 16. They're on a collision course with each other in round three. The rest of our round two games are still going. We do have a final, Young Kiv, 31, Drag, 29. Huge back-and-forth game there. That was the one that had the disconnect. So Young Kiv moves on to the second round. We're, young we're Kiv win that by a hair? By a hair. Did and you what, see what I did there? The, yeah, the lettuce. Okay. You know, he's got lettuce, the I mean, good lettuce. Yeah. Let's see what you did. That's not really a dad joke. That's a pretty good one, though. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, but we're going to have belt versus belt in I'll round two. Night. Young Kid versus Pavin. So that's going to be a great <laughs> matchup between two MCS winners from this year. Yeah, the uh, we've the second half of this bracket and the second half of this night is certainly lining up to be a memorable one. All the big names are not out. We did see a couple of big names go out in the begin in the first round, uh, like. Um, Serious Mo was one of those names. Master Gamer also got knocked out in the first. VTech getting knocked out in the first round as well. Uh, so, you know, just as we go along here, we've still got some big names, but we've had some big names already exit. It just shows you how deep the field is, is and how much parity there is in the Friday Night Football esports that we've been putting on lately. Uh, got to catch up on some subs. I saw Bro Beans. That's my guy. Met him out at the Madden Challenge 17 out nice. there in Los Angeles. Really great dude. He says Oz for life. I totally agree. He's going down the yellow brick, the yellow brick road too, Goo. All right. I mean, that's cool. I don't have to have everybody with me in the danger zone. I've already. Got, I only got one seat for one. That's why in the it's back called the anyway. danger zone. That's true. We need the music. Can we queue up like either either yellow brick road, yellow brick road, or ah, somebody already talked to about the danger zone? I did Sing see someone chat. in the chat earlier. They said, "Where would '80s movies be without Kenny Loggins? You've got Caddyshack. You've got Top Gun." Uh, what else was he in? He was on another another movie that I've was... got some exclusive information right now, Zan. Kenny Loggins, the absolute inspiration for one Mutt Guru beard. Kenny Loggins. 